Today, I continue the series on my biggest influences with another true giant in the world of electric blues, the legendary and unique Albert King. Albert King's playing has had a major impact on just about everyone who plays blues, or classic rock for that matter, even if it's not completely obvious. All the blues greats had very individual styles, but Albert's highly idiosyncratic technique created a style so distinctive it's generally quite apparent when you work it into your own playing. Albert actually wanted to play like his hero T-Bone Walker, but as he said, he just couldn't do it. So he developed his own way of playing that didn't require fretting a lot of notes. Now, most players make no attempt to play his lines the way he did. We all know he was one of those left-handed players who flipped over a right-handed guitar and learned to play that way, with the treble strings on top and the bass strings on bottom. Pulling down on the treble strings enabled him to play a large percentage of his phrases by bending rather than fretting. Now, as I've said, most of us borrow some of his lines, but make little attempt to play them as he did. At the very least, I'd have to go to much lighter strings to do that. The approach I and most others use most often is to just combine full step bending with Albert's wide vibrato, while still using normal position changes. But sometimes, if I want to get those wider interval bends and create a little more of that original flavor, I'll just do the bend on the B string where there's less tension. So here's a little demo where you can hear how that might sound.
Well, this was a fun one, and I hope you got a little something out of it. Please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon.